The future of Texas politics is on the line. Literally, the lines could determine how much money your school and community programs receive. They are being drawn right now. We're talking about redistricting. It's done every 10 years after census results. The process is vital to our representation in Washington, D.C. This week, Texas lawmakers started drafting out new congressional maps. The final versions are supposed to reflect the population growth, but so often they rarely do. The night team's Petty Santos tells us how you can get involved in having a say as lawmakers become map makers. Ask some young voters about Texas politics and redistricting, and they'll give you an honest answer. Politics is just not something that I really get into. I feel like a lot of it is just a show. Most people don't pay attention probably because they feel like it doesn't affect them or they just, you know, they're just oblivious and just go on about their lives. But they do care about what's going on in their communities. For me, 100% giving you know, money back to communities and to the schools. That's why what's going on this week at the Senate Committee on Redistricting is something Texans should be laser focused on. It means we get two more electoral votes going into 2024. It has a lot to do with money and what what people can get from their member of Congress in terms of allocations for their districts, everything from grant money to people being appointed to military academies. It has an impact. UTSA professor John Taylor says so where you fall into the potential new redistricting maps could end up impacting your everyday life. Right now, with Republicans in charge, the lines could lean in their favor. The first map draft released this week appears to leave out minorities in communities like in the district represented by Chip Roy, where the population grew. You're talking about marginalizing people of color who are, who are the ones who are basically driving Texas population growth and therefore, by the way, also driving the Texas economy and everything from education to 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 infrastructure. He explains the redrawing of districts gets political because what happens in Texas impacts the nation. One party leads to either continued control of the House by the Democrats or control by overturn, basically by, by winning the 2022 midterms and Republicans take over again. And if that happens, <laughs> Joe Biden really doesn't have much of a chance of getting anything else passed between now and 2024. And the Senate Special Committee is expected to have um, some final maps by early October. But as redistricting has in the past, uh, this is probably going to get end up uh, being drawn out in the courts. If you want to have a say in how redistricting affects you this time around, you can call the Senate Special Committee on Redistricting. And we have that list on KSAT.com. Steve, Myra, 